Hey, what's going on, everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. All right, Dame has a ab injury, um, a lower ab injury. I don't know if it's similar to LeBron's or not, but he's going to be missing 10 days uh, with this injury. Uh, it's kind of tough because the Blazers have been struggling pretty bad this season, as we all know. And um, he's been struggling pretty bad this season, as we all know. So uh, he's finally starting to work his way back into form, from what I understand, although I haven't been paying attention to the Blazers as so much. Um, and then this injury is now going to rear its ugly head. So this is a tough year for their franchise right now. And uh, hopefully he can get back soon and, 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 and be 100%. I think this injury is important because ab injuries tend to linger, as we're seeing with LeBron right now. And as we've seen before in previous situations with other players, um, it's not the type of injury that you want to rush back from in any way, shape, or form. You know, you're doing a lot with your core. You're doing a lot of stretching and moving and, you know, various different motions. You just want to make sure that heals. So I would I would, I would, would imagine he's going to do what he has to do to make sure that happens. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this isn't a long video. You know, I just want to get you guys updated on what's coming my way. It's so many different injuries going on. I'm not keeping up with all of them. But, um, you know, I bring to you what I can, and that's just how this is going to work. Uh, but, yeah, man, that's what's up, man. Uh, what this will do for the Portland Trailblazers, of course, will open up opportunities for Anthony Simons, which is – um, really exciting in my opinion because I think he's about ready to show the world that he's a guy um, in this league who's ready to do something. I, I look at him as a guy who's always been able to do things. He's just been playing behind Dame and, and CJ and there's no opportunity for him. And plus he had to develop into who he's become. So it's taken some years. So it's been a good role for him in that regard because he's been able to play behind such talented guards and go up against such talented guards in practice, which is the underrated aspect of what goes on there. So you know, now that they have Chauncey Billups in place, a new coach who's able to kind of get a lot more out of that player, um, you're going to see him start to stretch out and do more of what it is that he does. I'm curious to see what happens with the Portland Trailblazers now for the next couple of days. It's not going to be long, but, you know, I, I haven't been paying attention to their team, so forgive me if these guys happen to be injured or something like that. But I look at a guy like Nazir Little, and I say this is an opportunity for him to shine because uh, – you know, I would imagine Dame really does take a lot of possessions away from other players just based on how he plays and his style of, you know, the way that he goes about his uh, structuring his gameplay. So this will give other possessions of for the team as a whole to kind of work some different things and work some progressions to kind of uh, implement more of their offense without Dame, which I think is ultimately what they need. The Portland Trailblazers, as we've talked about, if you watch my Portland Trailblazer video um, in the summertime, you you know what my position is on that team, and it's this. Uh, Dame is trying to help them stay afloat while they work through their financial troubles. Uh, they're well over the luxury tax. In fact, they're being penalized for it. And because of it, they weren't able to use their mid-level exception and a couple of other things uh, that were kind of keeping them from being able to uh, build was, you know, the, the, the Yusuf Nurkic, they had to resign him, or, or and it was... Um, situation where he wasn't too happy so that that was something they were dealing with as well as uh, re-signing uh, CJ McCollum and having all of that go on while having Dame on a max contract and so it was just a situation where Port Portland's just kind of playing from behind the eight ball what they really really need is for the players that they already have and the young prospects that they have to overachieve and develop into who they need them to become and unfortunately under the coach that they had they weren't able to really get much out of their bench so as a result all of their pieces didn't really have it the value that they needed to, to have to get, you know, better. And so uh, being cap strapped without being able to develop players is just an impossible situation. And they were asking Dame to kind of carry them through that and he's obliged. Um, so that's what's going on here. They've, they're they starting the process of developing those young players. You can see it. And you just need them to have some luck um, uh, with their asset uh, acquisitions. Now, does that mean they should miss the playoffs? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know that they look to miss the playoffs to get a lottery pick, but that's essentially what they need to do is to find some inexpensive, productive pieces uh, that they can slip in to kind of help them with their cap situation. If they're able to do that, Dame and, and CJ are good enough to keep them in playoff contention, but they are going to have to develop around um, somehow to get some some bigs and some forwards down there that work for them. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my take on the Portland Trailblazers. I, just, I, I salute Dame for, for trying to – uh, thug it out with, with the Portland uh, front office and, and their their ownership as they try to deal with what they're dealing with. Um, and I think they're going to be fine as an organization after they get through the storm. You know, how long this is going to take, I'm not aware. I don't know what, what needs to happen in order for them to get out of that penalty. Um, 
I'd imagine it just plays itself out as the contracts that they have start to mature and or whatever. <laughs> I guess that's how that works. But that's what they need to have happen. They just need to, this to 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 get get out the way so they can can build. So, hey man, it's tough when you can't use your mid level. You know, I don't think people realize that little five million dollars can get you a really nice player. And uh, you know, when they're struggling out there for different things, particularly on the defensive end and in ball movement and stuff like that, they could use a, a facilitator. They could use a, a talented four that can do a lot of things. So, you know, those are the type of pieces that just are missing when you have the type of struggles that the Portland Trailblazers have. And unfortunately, most of the league don't have the troubles that they have. So you can imagine how bad they would be if they didn't have Dame on, on tab. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's they're lucky to have Dame. <laughs> That's what it really comes down to. They are very blessed to have a superstar on their payroll because uh if if they didn't we could be looking at a situation where the portland trailblazers would be moving possibly like it could be that bad so um dame is keeping them afloat for real and i feel like i've kind of figured that out it's one of those situations where nobody's really been talking about it but i, I just i don't know and maybe my perception is wrong maybe dame is totally unhappy and wants the hell out of there but i just get the feeling it's like a handshake kind of deal for him to just stay pl input stay in place not uh, make a fuss, understand that he's not going to have a team that's going to be able to win a championship and just take the bag for a little while while they get it together, you know, and, and the team will love you. You you stay home. He stays true to his, his brand and his, his, his principles as a dude that doesn't fold and doesn't walk away from his responsibilities. And that's the thing. He's built for this. You know what I mean? With with who he he presents himself to be and who he who he who he tries to 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 display as a human being. He likes being in circumstances where he's relied upon. He likes being in circumstances where he can put his ten toes down and stand against all of those who who may not necessarily have the, those same uh, principles. You know what I saying? Know what I mean? He likes to stand aside from those who don't have the same principles as him. That's how I see it. So this works, uh, but I just think he's getting tired. The only problem with Dame, only problem with Dame, is his age. It's God's honest truth. If he were 27, 28 doing this, nothing is wrong. But because he's trying this in his 30s, it's going to be why he doesn't get the opportunity to win a championship. You know, and yeah, he could stay in Portland. Maybe he gets to a space where everything in Portland gets better. But you're still going to be dealing with a field that is good enough to keep up with you even if you build a championship caliber contender. You know, that's just part of the, the nature of this the league. So... You, you limit your opportunities the older you get as you stay in these situations that otherwise do not benefit you. So the sacrifice is immense. You know, it's not it's not just you saying, OK, we're going to hold it down. I look at Bradley Beal's situation a bit different because of his age. I don't, I don't know him to be in his 30s. He might be. I might be wrong. But I just look at him as a younger player than Dame, who's going to have more longevity going forward than Dame, who hasn't had as much of a load on his back as Dame. You see what I'm saying? Dame has had more miles on him based on the fact that he's had to carry a franchise for the last eight years, nine years, whatever it's been. As to where Bradley Beal has carried Wizards to a degree, but most of those years he was a co-star to John Wall. So it's a different dynamic with respect to C.J. McCollum. So when I speak this way, it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm no longer asking Dame to get the heck out of Portland, although it would benefit him personally to get out of Portland. I think he's home. I think Portland is his home. I think he wants to live and die with Portland. I think he wants to bring him a championship. And I think he, I think the, the situation is going to get better from this point. Unfortunately, it's just how long it's going to take before it gets to the point where he needs it to be to contend. The timeline for the Portland Trailblazers and their franchise is not the same timeline that he has for his career. And that's what I would tell him. Like, fam, you can be a Portland Trailblazer for life. But you do need to understand that you only have a couple years left to play basketball. Now, after you leave basketball, you come back to the Portland Trailblazers, have a career for the rest of your life. You're still a Blazer. But while you're an active basketball player, you got to think about whatever matters in that world and realm. And, and that's not Portland's responsibility because they are thinking about a timeline that's beyond what you're playing for. So you got to work that into your equation or you're going to walk out of this thing and not have a championship opportunity. Never mind a championship itself. You just want to get a chance to get one opportunity at one. And if you can't win it, you get beat by a better team, so be it. But you want that Allen Iverson's chance. You want that Dirk Nowitzki's chance. You see what I'm saying? So that you can either get it or not. That that Reggie Miller's chance. 
you know, even even Barkley, all of these guys. And you think about these guys that don't have championships. Most of them had chances. You know what I mean? They got there. And if they failed, you know what I'm saying? Cool. But I feel more sorry for the guys that never got to the championship. That never got a chance to get a ring. Opportunity. Never got to the finals. You know, I thank God that, that Chris Paul was able to get to the finals. Even though he didn't win it, he got his opportunity. He gets to lay his head down and say, I gave myself a chance. Just didn't get it done. As opposed to, man, I was just on the franchise. Just never, I mean, we just couldn't get off the ground. Like, Nah, you don't want that to be your, your legacy, bro. And I say that not only to him, but I say that to other players too around the league. Now, that doesn't mean leaving is the best thing because obviously we've seen guys stay and it worked. Sometimes you just got to take your time and, and be patient. The Paul, Paul Pierce, Giannis Antetokounmpo route. You stay long enough, eventually the championship comes to you. You know, Devin Booker, it, it can work that way. But in Dame's case, because of how this is set up, nah, bro, you're falling on the sword. And I just don't know that <clears throat> you've taken it fully into account what it is you're actually giving up and for whom. You know, it's still a business. <laughs> you know, they have a family. But understand, if you get to a point where you're not as valuable to them, they will let you go. And it won't be because they don't love you. It'll be because they're executing the business properly. And that's why you got to take care of home. So this loyalty thing that neglects that a lot of times with these players, they... You stand on these laurels and, and, and like Kevin Garnett, you get to a point where you realize, yo, I'm being loyal to something that isn't loyal back to me. You know what I mean? And it's not about the sentiment of it being loyal back to me. Should it be loyal back to me? No, no. For the betterment of the Portland Trailblazers, they can't cater to, to Dame Lillard's timeline. They, they're not in a position to do so, but even if they were, it's not in their best interest to punt everything for Dame. They got to think about 15, 20 years down the road. They got to think about everything, you know, to keep their franchise in their city. They just got different goals. You know, they want to get to the same destination, but they have different timelines and different goals. And I just think that Dane, it ain't about would be happier. He would be more equipped to have an opportunity to win um, if he would allow himself to go to a place like Philly, if he would allow himself to, to, make, to be traded somewhere. That will get him a chance to win. You know, instead of falling on the sword for this for this franchise who, you know, God bless them, may not even be able to give him a championship opportunity with the full spectrum of everything that they had. I mean, we got to ask ourselves a question. How the hell did they get in that situation in the first place? Bad decision making. You know, so we can't necessarily fall on the sword for guys who may not be able to get up off the ground when we do. You see what I'm saying? So that's another aspect of it I think Damien's really considered. Um... It's a wonderful fan base up there in Portland. Uh, I got one of my homegirls who used to be, uh, her sister was a, a dancer for the Portland Trailblazers. So I've heard nothing but great things about the organization. Um, that being said, their responsibility is their own. Dame, it is not your responsibility to carry them through this era. Because they're going to have another star to carry them in the next era. And it's going to be because of your sacrifice. That's, that's, that's not your legacy, but that shouldn't be it. Uh, so that's that. That's what I wanted to say there. Uh, get well. Get well. You know what I mean? I, I give him props for what he's trying to do, but I just I know that it's, you know, you, 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 you're punting your career, man. Like literally just I, I hate to say that it feels wrong to word it that way. But that's exactly what you're doing by staying in Portland. Just keep it real. My name is BDL44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.